All right, I'm having a little trouble getting this uh, lesson filmed, but I think I can do it this time. I had a couple false starts. I'm trying to show you some chords that I really like for warm-ups. And uh, I think I've actually recorded a couple of songs that are influenced by this. This is going to be E7, A7, D7, G7. Let's do it, uh, I call these like cowboy chords. E7, A7, D7, and G7. Very cool. I'm going to take it up the neck and use two shapes to get those four chords. The first shape is going to be just like a C7. That's a great chord to know. You know C, ring, middle, index, and then C7 is your pinky on third string. So we're going to take that and slide it up the neck. C7 up two frets is D7. We'll use that again. And two more frets is E7. So I'm going to go E7, and then I'll go to A7, which I'm going to let my thumb do the bass note here at the 5th fret, 6th string. And my index will lay flat on 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. Middle finger is on 3rd string, 6th fret. I'm going to reuse that shape in a second, too. So it's E7 to A7. A7 is like an A, G, C sharp, E. I'm trying to hit the bass note, five, and then these three notes on the fourth, third, and second string. So it's like a A, G, C sharp, E. And then I'll go to my third chord, which is a D7. Is a four three, oh, excuse me, five four five three, D F sharp C D. So that's the first shape used again, and then I'll go to the second shape down here, which is a G seven, a three three four three. My thumb is on the bass, the G index is on this F, middle's on the B and then index is on the D, that's G7. So all together they sound default picking pattern. Which you can do any way you want. Let's, be, let's keep it a little bit simple. Let's just go like, that's thumb, index, middle, ring going in order. Here I'm going sixth string, fourth, third, second string. and the G7. So work on If you like this, I can come back and show you a few more things with that pattern or the chords. But remember, it's just two shapes and you can finger pick it any way, way you want or you can strum it with the pick. And uh, there's just a lot of fun stuff you can do with that little chord warm-up. And it's just like a, you'll, you'll hear songs that use that uh, progression. I think it's kind of a Jerry Reed, Chet Atkins kind of a jam. Uh, yeah, and I have used it in a couple of songs. Let's see if I can find one. If I can remember that one. What is it? I remember the sound, but I don't remember the title. Oh, Teen Scene off of our Lust for Rust album. I do have a sticker with this uh, artwork on it. If you're interested, send me an email at hooverguitar at yahoo.com and maybe I'll send you a sticker. All right. Take care. See you soon. Keep rocking.